Hello everybody and welcome to Harrisonville, Missouri. We're on the campus of Harrisonville Middle School at Memorial Stadium and it is sectional soccers from the Class 3 of the Missouri State High School Activities Association. Your Harrisonville Wildcats set to take on the Jeff City Helias Crusaders in a sectional matchup. Winner will play in the quarterfinals on Friday, or sorry, Saturday against either the winner of Van Horn or Kearney. Wildcats come into this contest 25 and two overall on the season and Helias is coming in with a record of 18 and seven on the season. If you look into the schedules of the two squads, only game I saw that both played would have been against Rolla and it was a 2-1 win for Helias, and the Cats lost 3-1 down at Rolla. So if you look overall at this one, it looks to come down to a pretty even contest. You have Helias played a lot of games on the St. Louis side of things. Harrisonville, obviously, in the Kansas City area, played more Kansas City area schools as well. Harrisonville playing better soccer the second half of the season as they've gotten better as they've gone along. A great district tournament for the Wildcats as they won 9-0 over Ruskin in their first game of districts and then at won a heart-stopping 4-3 overtime game against Raytown South, a game they trailed 3-1 at the half and were able to come back and win that one four to three in double overtime to advance to this sectional contest. So we've got about 15 minutes or so away from the opening kick here at Helias, with Helias and Harrisonville. Jerry just looked at me like I was crazy because I said the opening kick. But Jerry, just to let you know, soccer, they still kick the ball. It's amazing. <laughs> So we're, we're here to have some fun tonight and bring you this contest. I'm going to be the first to tell you I am not 100% a go on knowing everything about soccer, but I'm going to bring you as much fun and color as I can to this broadcast as the Wildcats set to play tonight. First thing I'm going to do is thank all the great sponsors that came on board to make this broadcast possible. We started yesterday morning, and me and Jerry feverishly – Talk to about every single business owner we know in this town. And to, to say that they came through is an understatement. We ended up with 16 people come on board to sponsor this broadcast to get it on tonight. So that's a testament to the businesses in this town as well as the support they have for the schools and for all of the sporting programs. And Harrisonville's lucky to have the success they've had over the years in all their sports. If you look up and down, you know, I've been doing this for almost, this is my 12th season of covering the Wildcats. I've been to a Final Four in baseball, soccer, both women's and men's soccer has been to the Final Four. We have had a state, two state championships in football that I've been a part of, several Final Four trips in there. We've had three trips to the sectional round in basketball, a class or a third place finish for wrestling since I've hit 2000 and <laughs> two thirds, a fourth, a second. So Harrisonville wrestling has done well as well. I mean, overall Harrisonville sports, it's one of those teams that teams see every year. You see that name of that school and people are like, how are they good and everything? And it's just one of those things that each and every year, they do a great job on. So we are about, like I said, 15 minutes from that opening kick here in the friendly confines of Memorial Stadium at Harrisonville. And we're gonna talk about some of our great sponsors that came on board. Looking for an amazing evening with a special someone or a group of your closest friends? Check out the Farm to Table Dinners hosted by the Cider House. Located on 7 Highway South, just six miles east of I-49 at the farm, the Cider House and the Event Center their own special events and it is also available for rental get your tickets now for the last farm to table dinner of the 2018 season which is saturday november 10th enjoy a five course meal prepared 
by a professional chef where the menu is sourced from ro local growers and producers. There is a wine pairing option by Aubrey Vineyards, and we also have local beer options available. Check, out, check us out on Facebook or at the Cider House at ciderhouseevents.com. We have a fitness and wellness retreat coming up on Saturday, November 17th, and a Christmas expo on December 1st with local vendors, pictures with Santa, winter hayrides, and more. Also, we are taking bookings for Christmas parties. That is the Cider House Restaurant and event. Established in 1986, Harrisonville Family Medicine is Harrisonville's premier family doctors. Serving a seven-county area over two states and four doctors and three nurse practitioners on staff, they will be sure to have you covered. From sports injuries to a common cold, Dr. Aaron and Damon Travis and their staff will have you covered. They also take most health care insurance in the greater Kansas City area, so come in for a checkup and stay to be part of the family at Harrisonville Family Medicine. Whether it's a small job to patch your lawn or a commer commercial installation, Heltz Turf Farm can do it all. From the Loves and Quick Trip or the Lady Wildcat Softball Field, Heltz will have you seeing green with their fescue and bluegrass sod. Sean and Michelle also love to support Harrisonville schools, the Wildcats, and even field their own national touring micro sprint car team driven by Slater Heltz. Give Heltz a call at 816-540-2020. We all love getting together for the holidays. It's the mess, the overcrowded living room, and the homes we all get frustrated with. Why not change it up this year and visit Sonia Dickey and the family at the Dickey Cottage? With a full working kitchen, room for everyone, and even a living room area for the guys to relax and watch football. It's time to take the overcrowding and mess out of the holidays. Call Sonia and schedule your time today. The Dickey Co Cottage, Harrisonville's venue place. Decisions on the football field must be made in a split second. In buying a home, it is quite the opposite. Let Carol Looney and her staff at American Heritage walk you through the process with ease. They will make sure buying your dream home doesn't become a nightmare. From the first showing until the keys are in your hand, go with the realtors that have called Harrisonville home since 1981. American Heritage Realtors, office located next to Sonic on Commercial, or go see them at AmericanHeritage-Realtors.com. It's never too early to teach your little ones about finances and saving money. Sherwood Community Bank has plenty of options available for you to help kids save and learn how to manage money. Savings accounts can be started as soon as one is born to help teach them to save. Once they are behind the wheel, a checking account with free internet banking and a debit card could be there for them to manage their money. Sherwood Community Bank is there for the youngsters. Just ask Braxton. Go see them at Sherwood's Bank. That's where my account is. Mike and Natalie Johnson take pride in giving back to the community. While if you need help on a remodel or a project at your house, they are there to help, but they love to give back with various projects that they call the community home. From the San Savannah Nash Memorial in front of HHS to redoing both HHS football and softball fields or organizing a trip to Houston to help hurricane victims. Mike and Natalie make sure that Excalibur pays it forward and helps Harrisonville continue to be a great place to live. Excalibur Contracting in Harrisonville. The Atkinsons take great pride in being members of the community. They will soon graduate a fourth generation Wildcat. With this kind of commitment to Harrisonville, you know Atkinson Funeral Home will be there for you. As always, they are proud sponsors of the Harrisonville Wildcats. Teammates on a football field are a must. That's why Cameron Chenoweth of American Family and Lacey Dominic of Shelter Insurance are teaming up to give you options in the insurance market. They know you have choices and they want to work together like the Wildcat football team to make sure you have the best insurance coverage out there. To see what their team can do for you, call Cameron Chenoweth at 816-380-3996 and Lacey Dominic at 816-380-2700. When you live in a small town, you need someone you can trust to buy a used car from. 
Steve Holland with Holland Auto Sales is that guy. Selling cars in Harrisonville for 35 years gains you that trust. Used car dealers can come and go, but not Steve. Holland Auto Sales with three generations of Hollands graduating from Harrisonville means he will be here for years to come. So go see the guy who the Grammar family trusts to buy from. Steve Holland with Holland Auto Sales on Commercial Street, just past Burger King. You have choices when it comes to apparel and promotional gear for your business. Don't sacrifice quality for choice. Travis Thurston with T-Screen Printing and Embroidery has all you could ask for. Local ability to screen print, embroider, and make vinyl decals, not to mention 50,000 promotional products at your fingertips with tscreenprinting.com. The next time your business or event needs apparel or a giveaway, stay local and turn to T-Screen Printing and Broadway, the pros who 4Ts trust to outfit them on Friday nights. There are a million places to buy a used car, so why not go somewhere you know lives by the Show Me State motto? The staff at Show Me wants to show you that Show Me spirit. Excellent service, affordable prices, and even loaners while you get your car serviced. With two locations to serve you in Harrisonville and Belton, they will put you in your dream car, truck, or SUV, and if they don't have it, they'll find it for you. So drive on over to Show Me Auto Mall and drive away with your next car. A strong starting lineup is a key to a great team. Insurance is no different, and Stafford and Stafford Insurance has the best lineup in town. With personal, commercial, health, life, farm, and crop insurance, they have you covered. 40-plus employees are there for you to find the best rates, walk you through claims, and make sure they are there for every step of the way. So if you're looking for a full-service insurance company with a strong starting lineup, go see the folks over at Stafford and Stafford Insurance on Commercial Street across from Holland Auto Sales. What is your time worth? Think about it the next time you head to the city to spend hours and days shopping for home appliances and to save a few dollars. Instead, drive across town and see Erlene and her staff that's right here for your convenience. You can be in or out in a short amount of time with amazing service, a great product, and they always treat you like family. Located behind Hawthorne Bank on Plaza Drive, so spend all your extra time you saved cheering on the Wildcats and remember, think Trobies first when you think of home appliances. Welcome back to Harrisonville, Missouri. We're on the campus of Harrisonville Middle School Memorial Stadium. Misha Soccer Sectionals 2018. Your Harrisonville Wildcats and the Helias Crusaders set to do battle in a sectional matchup. Cats went, of course, to the Final Four last year. And have another good run in them this year have had a great season 20 and 5 on the year 18 and 7 are the Helias Crusaders traveling down from Jeff City it always seems like every year when you get to the playoffs at some point Harrisonville and Helias do battle I've done many of Harrisonville and Helias football games over the years and now we've got football we went from one football to the other as we are ready for soccer action here tonight. Winner gets to the quarterfinal game on Saturday against the winner of Van Horn and Carney. Carney, a team Harrisonville knocked off earlier in the season. Van Horn, a team just a couple of weeks ago that beat Harrisonville three to one. So Cats, they're hitting their home stretch here. They've played great down in the stretch this year, and they're looking to get back to the quarterfinals and hopefully back to the Final Four for back-to-back -back years. It'll be the first time in school history they were able to do that. Coach Coleman's done a great job building a great roster and a great team here in Harrisonville. Year in and year out, they are a thorn in everybody's side in the MRVC Western Conference as well as now in the state playoffs back-to-back -back years with the district championships shows that in a Final Four trip on last year. Helias was knocked out of the district tournament last year to Marshall, a team that Harrisonville went up and beat in Marshall last year in the sectional round of the state playoffs. So we're about three minutes away from this opening kick. We're going to take another quick timeout, and we'll be back right after this.
Decisions on the football field must be made in a split second. When buying a home, it is quite the opposite. Let Carol Looney and her staff at American Heritage walk you through the process with ease. They will make sure buying your dream home doesn't become a nightmare. From the first showing until the keys are in your hand, go with the realtors that have called Harrisonville home since 1981. American Heritage Realtors, office located next to Sonic on Commercial, or go see them at AmericanHeritage-Realtors.com. It's never too early to teach your little ones about finances and saving money. Sherwood Community Bank has plenty of options available for you to help kids save and learn how to manage money. Savings accounts can be started as soon as one is born to help teach them to save. Once they are behind the wheel, a checking account with free internet banking and a debit card could be there for them to manage their money. Sherwood Community Bank is there for the youngsters. Just ask Braxton. Go see them at Sherwood's Bank. That's where my account is. Atkinson Funeral Home and Cremation Service has been serving families in the area since 1929. The Atkinsons take great pride in being members of the community. They will soon graduate a fourth generation Wildcat. With this kind of commitment to Harrisonville, you know Atkinson Funeral Home will be there for you. As always, they are proud sponsors of the Harrisonville Wildcats. Teammates on a football field are a must. That's why Cameron Chenoweth of American Family and Lacey Dominic of Shelter Insurance are teaming up to give you options in the insurance market. They know you have choices, and they want to work together like the Wildcat football team to make sure you have the best insurance coverage out there. To see what their team can do for you, call Cameron Chenoweth at 816-380-3996 and Lacey Dominic at 816-380-3996. 2700. When you live in a small town, you need someone you can trust to buy a used car from. Steve Holland with Holland Auto Sales is that guy. Selling cars in Harrisonville for 35 years gains you that trust. Used car dealers can come and go, but not Steve. Holland Auto Sales with three generations of Hollands graduating from Harrisonville means he will be here for years to come. So go see the guy who the Grammar family trusts to buy from. Steve Holland with Holland Auto Sales on Commercial Street, just past Burger King. You have choices when it comes to apparel and promotional gear for your business. Don't sacrifice quality for choice. Travis Thurston with T Screen Printing and Embroidery has all you could ask for. Local ability to screen print, embroider, and make vinyl decals, not to mention 50,000 promotional products at your fingertips with tscreenprinting.com. The next time your business or event needs apparel or a giveaway, stay local and turn to T Screen Printing and Broadery, the pros who 4Ts trust to outfit them on Friday nights. There are a million places to buy a used car, so why not go somewhere you know lives by the Show Me State motto? The staff at Show Me wants to show you that Show Me spirit. Excellent service, affordable prices, and even loaners while you get your car serviced. With two locations to serve you in Harrisonville and Belton, they will put you in your dream car, truck, or SUV, and if they don't have it, they'll find it for you. So drive on over to Show Me Auto Mall and drive away with your next car. A strong starting lineup is a key to a great team. Insurance is no different, and Stafford and Stafford Insurance has the best lineup in town. With personal, commercial, health, life, farm, and crop insurance, they have you covered. 40-plus employees are there for you to find the best rates, walk you through claims, and make sure they are there for every step of the way. So if you're looking for a full-service insurance company with a strong starting lineup, go see the folks over at Stafford and Stafford Insurance on Commercial Street across from Holland Auto Sales. What is your time worth? Think about it the next time you head to the city to spend hours and days shopping for home appliances and to save a few dollars. Instead, drive across town and see Erlene and her staff that's right here for your convenience. You can be in or out in a short amount of time with amazing service, a great product, and they always treat you like family. Located behind Hawthorne Bank on Plaza Drive, so spend all your extra time you saved cheering on the Wildcats and remember, think Trobies first when you think of home appliances.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Harrisonville, Missouri. We're ready for high school soccer action in the Misha State playoffs. Starting for both squads, we will go down those as we go. Ben Reagan, Caleb Wilson, Nick Brandt, Luke Hines, Isaac Johnson, Luke Mertens, Elliot Lammers, Sam Thompson, Carson Mudd, Zach Paschal, and Ryan Hake are the starters for Helias. For your Wildcats, it'll be Austin Sasonis, Evan Filer, Kobe Norris, Micah Dillingham, Jack Devinney, Dalton Lawson, Connor Bletlinger, Bryce Jenkins, Monty Schroeder, Ethan Cole, and Logan Johnson. Those are your starters for both sides. Helias will be in their white kits, tops and bottoms. Harrisonville in their black top kits with the blue shorts as we get set for action. Helias going to go from north to south in the first half. From south to north will be the Wildcats as Gary Davidson, he would be happy if he was listening along tonight to know that I use north and south. Or you could say left to right and right to left. We are ready for action here from Harrisonville. Forty minutes are on the clock. Forty minutes in the high school game of each half. See who will be the aggressors coming out in this one. If either team will be more defensive minded, or both both teams will be aggressive in this one, we will see. So cats back it up to attack, and we're underway from Harrisonville. One of the things to watch in this game, if you're new to soccer, you know, some, some of you may be watching with Harrisonville being back in the playoffs and one of our broadcasts that we've had. If you watch along, you will see the triangles of the offense working as they get up the field. Cats in control of the ball early on here in their own half. Kick up and take in for Helias. Cat's going to clear it out, though. Go back the other way. And Cat's get a kick off quick. See if they can chase it down. They do in the corner. Kick in front of the goal. Header. No. Just misses wide left. Cat's had a golden opportunity right there and just missed early on. Last will get their first extended action on the offensive end now. Be a key in this game watching who can possess the ball more in this one. Lice in their own half going to bring it forward. Try to get a runner down the side and the Cats are going to chase it down. Cleared out by Jenkins. Need, I need to get Coach Davini a headset over there. He could probably help along. <laughs> he was letting me know it is a little slick out there with, with the ball being wet, and that is, as he put it, advantageous to the offense. I'm going to lean on everybody up here in this booth for pointers as we go along tonight. <laughs> Mr. Cole behind me as well, a soccer parent. We got, all, we got, we got a whole booth full of soccer, folks, and I, I like that. I may just give you guys the headsets. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> or we could just crank up the volume and let everybody's chatter go. <laughs> Mr. Cole and uh, Coach Devaney, I don't know that either one of them would want to be actually on the air as both of their sons are out there playing. <laughs> the stress level for them may be a little bit too much. Watch the ball. Harrisonville's got it. Going to attack to their towards Elias now. Lose it, and Helias going to go back the other way with it. Going to go out of bounds. It'll be Cat's ball on the throw in. Jenkins throws it forward, and a header up for the Cats. So 36 minutes left here in the first half as it winds down. Now 
No score early on in this sectional contest. Wyatt's going to go on the attack now. The ball near midfield. Get it into the cat half, and they try a breakaway. Nothing doing, and Jenkins going to chase it in the corner and let it go. And Cats will have a goal kick. No score here in the first half of this sectional contest as we are about four minutes into this one. Cats have the ball far side. If you just join us, the Cats are in their black top and blue short kit. All white kits for Helias. All near midfield, Cats have it. Gonna control it here. Both teams have had a little bit of offense so far, Cats with a good shot on goal early in this one. Couldn't get it in there. Jenkins set to pass it in for the Cats. Forward. To the front they go in front of the goal. Try to get it. And Butlinger cannot quite capitalize. Had another look in front of it. And now a long rip by Filer and just misses wide left. Again, a couple of looks at the goal. And Elias going to take over now. Goal kick for Elias here. Boom it forward, there was a header. Several back-to-back -back headers. Use your head and go see Brad Sainer at the A-frame in Harrisonville for Farmers Insurance. Get a quote today. And now Elias gonna attack here. And a good stop by Johnson as he just rips the ball away. And the Cats go back the other way. Cats gonna push it up here. Hunter Bletlinger there. There's a whistle by the official on the far side. Seven minutes passed here in the opening half of this one and we're still nil-nil. I want to give a big thanks to all of our sponsors again who were able to get this broadcast on the air for us. Harrisville Family Medicine, Health Turf Farm, Ian Pharmacy, Cider House, Sherwood Community Bank, Show Me Auto Mall, Cameron Channel with American Family, and Lacey Dominic Shelter Insurance, Jerry and Sonis with Aflac. Excalibur Contracting, Brad Sainer with Farmers Insurance, Trobies Maytag Home Appliance Center, American Heritage. Cats have a breakaway, and Bletlinger going to come out there and try to get it, but a good kick away saved by the goalie for the goal keep for Elias, and the Cats are going to have to go on the attack again. Also, American Heritage Realtors, Dickey, Cottage, the best burrito in Stafford and Stafford Insurance all came on board to get this broadcast brought to you guys tonight. Almost eight minutes gone here in the first half and still no score from Harrisonville. Good look up for Filer. Gets it off for Norris. Now Monty Schroeder has it in the middle. A little give and go, nobody home. Cat's still on the attack in there. Elias half. And gonna get a corner out of it as a 
Kind of errant kick to the goalie there. Gillen Pharmacy corner kick here. Rock Haven Road. On Rock Haven Road in Harrisonville. Right in that beautiful Cass Regional Medical Center building out there, along with Harrisville Family Medicine, one of our other great sponsors. And here comes the corner for the Cats. And we'll try another corner kick here. And the second try just high on the header. And again, it'll go to Elias on a goal kick. That was Ethan Cole with the header there that just missed. Remember to use your head and go get a free quote from Brad Sainer at Farmers Insurance. And now a break for Elias here. They're going to try to push it forward quickly, and they lose it. And back to the Cats here. Cats move forward in the midfield. Micah Dillingham tried to get it forward. Now Jenkins going to throw it in for the Cats. That was Kobe Norris on the header that time. Elias going to have it from their own half, get it into the Harrisonville half here. Try to attack on the Wildcats. Cats have maintained most of the possession here so far in the first half of this one. Now a drive by Elias in the corner. Try to get it towards the goal and boot it out of there. Jack Davini with the boot out. It'll be a corner for Elias here. Elias has to have had multiple opportunities here in the first half of this one. Not quite able to capitalize yet. Elias take over possession here in their own half. And they're going to push it forward again. The Cats clear it out easily. from an outside perspective, someone that's not very adept to the soccer game itself. Harrisonville looks to be more disciplined on offense, whereas Elias is gonna grab and go, so to speak. They're gonna push this one forward. Logan Johnson kicks it out. Good save by him, but once they get out in front, Elias doesn't seem to have a idea what they want to go, if they want to just attack right at the goal or not. So 13 minutes almost gone by here in the first half of this one. Still a nil-nil score on the board. And Elias will have it for a corner. And they get it in and right to the goalie, Sosotis, and going to go back the other way. So, not a very good set piece right there for Helias. Unable to do much with it there, and the Cat's going to push it forward. And Norris gets it away to Bletlinger, back to Filer. Filer pushes it back again for Bletlinger. A little fight for it in front of the goal at about the 18, and he's going to go inside. No, they're going to boot it out. So another look, so to speak, for the Cats, but nothing doing. And Filer takes the ball away. Cats being the aggressors early in this one.
14 minutes gone in the first half and we have a nil-nil contest. All down the sideline and out of bounds will go to the Crusaders. Elias with it, gets it into the Wildcats half. Push it forward again. And here's a chase for it. And a goal into the back of the net by the Crusaders. And uh, Elias Crusader is down there. Like that. Goal was Caleb Wilson, I believe. And he is down right now. 25 25 left in the first half, and Elias going to have a 1 0 lead. Cats have done good so far with those breakaways, being able to knock them away. This one just a little bit farther out in front and able to put it in the back of the net was Elias, and it's 1-0. We'll be right back. was actually eight Sam Thompson who had the goal, not two. Shows what I can see up here in the press box. Coach Devaney has much better eyes than me. <laughs> so Katz will have it again here down one nil. 15-ish minutes gone by here in the opening half of this one and it's one nil Elias. Cats have been had a knack to come from behind this season. District championship game down 3-1 at halftime. We're able to come back, tie it up, and win it in double overtime against Raytown South to get their back-to-back -back district championship. I'm going to have to battle from behind here. Down 1-0. That's with it in their own half here. Going to get it forward. Kobe Norris with it. Going to punch it forward for Micah, I believe. And it's going to be a corner kick for the Cats here. And Evan going to have the corner and the Gillen Pharmacy corner kick on Rock Haven Road in the Cats Regional Medical Center building. Set piece for the Cats coming up. Here comes Filer into the front. No, and the Cats are going to go back and attack again. Another high pop-up from Filer, and the Cats are going to try to regain possession here and control it. And a foul going to be called on Helias. Going to call that one on Zach. Pash call, and it'll be Cats ball. In the highest half. Directing traffic here on the kick. Try to get a set piece out of this. Forward new. Popped up near. Elias now has it. And here comes Elias back the other way. Cats clear it out. Under 24 minutes to go here in the first half. And that one gets away from Elias, and the Cats are going to throw it in. Jenkins with the throw in. Forward they go. Kobe back to Jenkins. 
Back to Norris. Jones booted off of Elias and out of bounds. And in the last half they go. Wellinger just missed that one. Try to get back behind him and cannot. Elias back with it. Deep in the corners, Elias now on the Wildcat half. Try to fight for it. Ketz get it away. And out front they go. And Norris with it about. Elias going to regain it here in the Cat half. And kick it right to the Cats. Tell it is a little slick out there as Kobe falls to the turf on to that kick. Butlinger's got it in the front. Back to Kobe. Kobe trying to control it here. Get it to the back and Johnson gonna try to boot it forward. Lions with it in the back half. Get it into the cat half of the cats. Take it. Another the ball here towards the midfield. And now Elias deep in the cat half here trying to attack. Now back in the middle, and the Cats clear it again. Not far enough. Now the Cats going to control. They're going to call a sliding foul on Filer. Wow. I've been wearing that captain band, speaking with the official there. See what it was he was calling, what he said he did there. Free kick here and right to Sasonis. Floater in there. Midfield, Elias tries to control. 20 minutes to go in the first half, so halfway done in half number one. And it's 1 0. Jeff City Elias with the lead over the Cats. Jeff City goes to the attack again. Cats able to strip it out of there and try to push it back towards the Elias end. side of the field now both squads trying to get it another kick in there and Susanna's with another save right to him and he's going to kick it out of there Elias near midfield with it going to try to go on the attack again Spent better part of the last five to ten minutes with possession in the cat end. After the cats kind of dominated possession early. All booted out on the far side. And the cat's going to push it forward here. Kobe Norris with it. Pops off of him and off of Elias and 
The Cats ball on the far side on a throw in. Goes out of bounds. Now Helias going to regain possession and chuck it back the other way. Just boot it out of there. Elias going to set it up again. Under 18 to go now in the half. The Cats down 1 0. Boot it forward. Now the Cats, a uh, host of players around it, going to take back the other way. Cats with it near midfield, going to go on the attack here. Long boot up forward, and Elias, goalkeep, able to come out and grab it. Knock it away and take it back for Elias. Cat's going to go back the other way with it. Down the sideline with it, Elias. Cats try to corral it. Kick in there and into the goal. The cross somehow gets it in. That was just a quick goal there and didn't look like he had an angle to get it in and was able to punch it in. Logan Wilson on the goal, and it's 2-0 with 16 minutes to go here in the first half. Let's see if the Cats can get aggressive here. Down two goals in the first half, and Jenkins with it in the back half, going to push it forward, and Kobe Norris. Gets tangled in the turf there and goes back in the back half for Elias. So Kant's going to scratch and claw. It's one at a time here. That's with it in the back half. Trying to maintain a possession here and get a goal back. Lights on the far are going to throw it in. And going to stay with Elias at the midfield. And they fire it down the sidelines where they were able to attack earlier and get that second goal from the far corner. This one pops up, and Sonus able to go in there and grab it away. 
empty the threat that time. Under 14 in the first half, Cats trail 2-0. A lot of game left to be played here. You know, the Cats right now, you just attack for that one, try to cut this lead for Alliance in half and see what can happen in the second half. You don't want it to bounce out to 3 nothing. Another breakaway for Helias here. And the kick just wide right for Helias. Sasona's able to come out and challenge it. And it goes out of bounds. Helias obviously wanted a foul in the box, which would have been a penalty kick, but they're not going to get it. It'll be Cats ball in the back. Under 13 now here to go. And... Whistle going to send it back to Helias. Non-soccer person, I have no idea what that call was. Tripped, they're going to say he tripped him. Didn't see <laughs> And they're going to dive it in there for another one and nothing. So uh, that's with Monty Schroeder down on the turf right now. Going to get him helped out. 12.05 remaining as it winds down here in the first half. Cats trail 2-0. An injury on the field. I think it's a good time to talk about one of our great sponsors, Harrisonville Family Medicine in Harrisonville. One of our great sponsors that came on board. They tend to money out there. Second, when buying a home, it is quite the opposite. Let Carol Looney and her staff at American Heritage walk you through the process with ease. They will make sure buying your dream home doesn't become a nightmare. From the first showing until the keys are in your hand, go with the realtors that have called Harrisonville home since 1981. American Heritage Realtors, office located next to Sonic on commercial, or go see them at American Heritage Realtors.com. What's one of the most important characteristics of a great team? They've got each other's back. Well, that's the motto at the team at Schroeder Chiropractic lives by. With two chiropractors, three therapists, and an amazing office staff, they've got your back. They'll take care of your aches and pains and have you feeling like new. But Schroeder Chiropractic has the community's back as well, actively involved with Bright Futures and Harrisonville Youth Sports. So next time you need to take care of those aches and pains, go see the team at Schroeder Chiropractic because they have Harrisonville's back. All right, welcome back. They help Monty off the field over to the side. 12 minutes to go here in the half. And Elias has a corner kick coming up. And that one into the front of the net. In front of the net and another clear in. 
And it's a three to nothing Crusaders. I think 22, maybe Ryan Hake was in on the goal. That was a quick one in front. And it is a 3 0 now. Elias Cat's going to have to battle back in this one. Take a page out of a football reference. American football, as we would call it. Um, the Wildcats need to just chop wood here in the rest of this first half. Former Rutgers head coach Greg Schiano, that was his battle cries to chop wood. Just keep chopping at it and see if you can get something. And that was a little bit too hard going in, and Elias going to regain. So under 12 to go here in the first half of this one, and it is a 3-0 Crusaders. That one bounces off and controlled by Blattlinger back here. Cats have it in their own half, gonna try to forward, go forward with it and kick it out of bounds on the far side and it's gonna be tipped out by Elias it looks like. Cancel. Regain possession on the far side. A bit forward. The head to the cats try to attack. Now bounces around and back to the middle. Get it ahead for Toby Norris. Gets it off on the far and out of bounds. Elias going to throw it quickly forward. They get it forward and take away by the Cats as they boot it forward. And out front, Kobe going to try to get it ahead for Bletlinger, but again, too hard and picked up by Elias. In the backcourt. Elias now has it in the back half, trying to get it forward and attack again on the Wildcats. That's where the aggressors are early. Had a couple of good shots on goal. Could not capitalize. And then Elias, the last 13 minutes, has been on the attack. Nine minutes to go here in the first half. Three nil our score from Harrisonville. Gives the head to Filer. They're looking for someone pushes it forward for Micah. Micah tries to get past it. Maybe off of Elias, we will see. And they're going to see it is off Elias. So the Cats going to have another set piece and a Gillen Pharmacy corner kick over on Rock Haven Road in Harrisonville. A set piece for the Cats here. Chance to get one of these back. And it's cleared out by Helias on the low liner from Filer in front and knocked around. And Cats have another opportunity. Cannot capitalize at three chances at it in front. And it just bounces around. Out of bounds it goes. I should say out the back it goes. And Helias going to have a goal kick here. And the Cats cut off. Norris gets it in front to Letlinger can't control it. Back to Norris. Cats have it in the middle now. And that's Micah Dillingham on the near side. Trying to control it. Gets it back to Jenkins for the Cats. 
Cats go to the back half, trying to regroup and attack. Header in the middle by Elias to try to clear it. Forget to use your head as well. Go see Brad Tainer in the A-frame across from Casey's for an insurance quote. Elias going to attack here. Loft it forward and controlled by Elias in the middle. Ball bounces around like a pinball in there. Kicked away by the Cats. Elias down there trying to attack again. Could not control it. Going to go back to the Cats. Under seven to go here in the half. Welcome everybody watching, whether from Harrisonville or Helias down in Jefferson City. A lot of people online tonight, kind of a misty rain has fallen here most of this half. And the Cat's going to push it forward now, try to attack, get it in the middle. And just the speed of the ball so far here in the half with the wet ball in the wet turf. Cat's have it in the back, going to get it forward here, try to attack. Evan Filer with it in the middle, bouncing around, going to kick back now in their own half. And a kick forward in the middle, no. And booted out and the Cats are gonna have Gillen Pharmacy corner kick on Rock Haven Road in the Cass Regional Medical Center building. And Evan Filer to boot it from the corner on the near side here. Gets it in front. Cats go to attack and bounced out of there by Helias. Kind of picking up here as we look up into the light, see it coming down pretty good here. So the Cats try to control it in the back half and it'll be a foul called on Elias and the Cats able to kick it forward. Four minutes left here in this opening half. It is 3-0 Crusaders on top on in this one. Sectional soccer, the Misha State Tournament. Cats made it all the way to the final four last year. Have some work to do here in the first half of this one. Get back in this one. Do the Cats, you start with that one goal and try to chop wood from there. I do know that people have told me over the years that a two-goal deficit is the most dangerous lead in soccer. So if they can get it to two, I feel real good then. It is definitely coming down now. As I see the umbrella starting to pop out more and more in the crowd here. Elias has it in the cat half now. And attack the last three minutes of this half. Cats just want to limit the damage the rest of the half and try to get one back somehow in the last three of this first half. That one goes, I want to say it was out, and I believe we got a whistle, and it will be a goal kick for the Cats. So the rain coming down heavily now here. 
And Elias able to get it back again in the cat half. Cats poke it away, but Elias able to chase it down, get it in front in the middle, back towards midfield. Elias still with it. Into the middle, they try to go with it and cleared out the back side. It'll be a throw in for Helias on the far side. Under two now to go in the half. High throw into the middle. Cats clear it out. Filer tries to clear it. Spin move in the middle and try to get it. We're at the 18. And a dive <laughs> saved by Sasonis, and then he takes it a little extra breath there, thinking, thank goodness it did not slide through. Forward they go. Bounces that one away. And one minute to go in the half. Three nothing. Cats got to hurry here to try to attack at the end of the half. Under a minute to go. And again, a little bit too hard on the near side. And it's out of bounds. Going to go back to Helias with 15 now left. And that'll do it at the half. Cats are down 3-0. Got a hole to dig out of here in the second half. We will take a timeout. We'll be back with halftime conversation after this. Atkinson Funeral Home and Cremation Service has been serving families in the area since 1929. The Atkinsons take great pride in being members of the community. They will soon graduate a fourth generation Wildcat. With this kind of commitment to Harrisonville, you know Atkinson Funeral Home will be there for you. As always, they are proud sponsors of the Harrisonville Wildcats. Teammates on a football field are a must. That's why Cameron Chenoweth of American Family and Lacey Dominic of Shelter Insurance are teaming up to give you options in the insurance market. They know you have choices, and they want to work together like the Wildcat football team to make sure you have the best insurance coverage out there. To see what their team can do for you, call Six three eight zero twenty seven hundred. The Dickey Cottage in Harrisonville venue. It's warm. It's charming. Friendly and accommodating staff. Dickey Cottage, perfect place to host upcoming celebrations. Everybody has a spot. They always like to have a birthday party, maybe at your house or or a family gathering or anniversary party. But it's just always a little bit too small. So find that place that's just the right size. That's the Dickey Cottage, the venue place in Harrisonville. They specialize in birthday parties, bridal and baby showers, anniversary parties, funeral receptions, graduation parties, holiday parties, family reunions, private dinners, and other special occasions. We had Collins' first birthday at the Dickey Cottage. One of the first events they had there, we enjoyed our time there at the Dickey Cottage in Harrisonville, your venue place. 
Whether it's a small job to patch your lawn or commercial insulation, Heltz Turf Farm can do it all. From the Loves to the Quick Trip or the Lady Wildcat Softball Field, Heltz will have you seen green with their fescue and bluegrass sod. Sean and Michelle also love to support Harrisonville schools, the Wildcats, and field their own national touring micro sprint car driven by Slater Heltz. Give Heltz a call today at 816-540-2020. Went out and saw Michelle today and got a tour of some of the stuff. Braxton was in love. Got to see the General Lee out there. Got to see their big green 18-wheeler. Obviously, it's a big rig because it didn't have the back on it, so it didn't really have 18 wheels today. But another one of our great sponsors in Harrisonville. Your score at the half, 3-0. The Crusaders lead the Wildcats. Established in 1986, Harrisonville Family Medicine is Harrisonville's premier family doctor, serving a seven-county area, over two states, four doctors, and three nurse practitioners on staff. They will have you covered. From sports injuries to a common cold, Dr. Aaron and Damon Travis and their staff will have you covered. They also take most health insurance in the greater Kansas City area. Come in for a checkup. Stay to be part of the family at Harrisonville Family Medicine. Looking for an amazing evening with a special someone or a group of your closest friends? Check out the Farm to Table Dinners hosted by the Cider House located on 7 Highway South just six minutes, six miles east of I-49 at the farm. Cider House is an event center that has their own special events and is also available for renter. Get your tickets for the last Farm to Table Dinner of the 2018 season this Saturday, November 10th. Enjoy a five-course meal prepared by a professional chef and the menu is sourced from local growers and produce. There are also wine pairings from Aubrey Vineyards and several other drink options available as well. Check us out on Facebook at the Cider House at ciderhouseevents.com. Mike and Natalie Johnson take pride in giving back to the community. If you need help on a remodel or a project at your house, they are there to help you, but they love to give back to the community with various projects, including the Savannah Nash Memorial in front of HHS, redoing both HHS football and softball fields, or organizing a trip to Houston to help out hurricane victims. Mike and Natalie make sure that Excalibur pays it forward and helps Harrisonville continue to be a great place to live. Your score, three to nothing at the half, the Wildcats trail the Helias Crusaders and I'm going to bring in a very special guest of mine uh, one of our great sponsors on Wildcat Athletics all season long whether it's soccer whether it's football whether it's basketball I could probably call him for a rugby or polo match and he would probably say yeah let's do it I uh, might even play <laughs> absolutely Brad Sainer good to have you with Farmers Insurance tell us a little bit about what you do over at Farmers? Well, uh, I've been an agency owner for now 10 years and uh, moved my office here to Harrisonville. Uh, be seven years uh, January 1, actually. Uh, we do all personal lines and commercial lines insurance. So auto home, renters, uh, life insurance, uh, business, work comp, basically a little bit of everything. So um, I just enjoy being here in Harrisonville and, and uh, try to support Wildcats as much as possible. You, you, like I said, you've always been great at com coming to the events. Not only, you know, you're actually here tonight to watch the event and not just, hey, yeah, I'll sponsor that. You know, you're, you're a face in the community. And that's one of the things I love about always, anywhere I go, I'm going to see Brad Sainer somewhere. Um, somewhere. Give, give people an idea of where you're located at. I'm at 1808 North Commercial, so I'm the uh, only A-frame building, I think, in the entire city. Um, but uh, I'm across from Casey's uh, uh, next to what's going to be Emilio's uh, Mexican restaurant here pretty quick. So they're going to have breakfast and Mexican food coming up next door to me, which is probably not a good thing since I'm going on a diet. So they're going to have – I want, they, that means they've got to have breakfast burritos, correct? I'm hoping. <laughs> that, that may be – you may be in trouble. This could be a problem. <laughs> So we got about three minutes before we go to second half action, but Brad, I wanted to bring you up here. You know, you like I said, you've been a sponsor of I think since basically Jerry and I got this thing off the ground and running. It seems like a uh, Jerry and I have been friends since kids. <laughs> Who? We've been friends since we were kids. Oh. Jerry and I go way back. You, you've maybe you. I think you've aged a little bit better than he has. I have. <laughs> 
<laughs> nevertheless, it's it's been fun, and it, I'm glad that you're uh, you were able to come tonight. I'm glad you were able to help us get this on the air because I know that it meant a lot to the soccer community in Harrisonville. It's, this is one of those towns, you know, that sometimes the non-traditional sports, so to speak, right. get, get kind of left to the wayside. And I'm glad that we were able to get this on the air. Oh, and, definitely. And I, I feel a four or five goal second half coming from the Wildcats. And I'm feeling five. Five, five. Five. Five, me too. And you know what? Five, three final. We go. I'm all right. With, I'm right. Five, four final. Five, four. Five, I four. mean, whatever. All I know is I've told everybody several times in the first half to use their head. And yeah. get, a, get a quote from you, so hopefully that'll come to fruition. <laughs> well, I hope so. <laughs> Maybe we'll get five header goals, and you can say it some more. That'll that'll be good. <laughs> I thank Brad Sainer for coming in, and of course, you know he's been our sponsor for like three years, and I still every once in a while mess his last name up and call him Sainer for That's some all right. reason. <laughs> thank you guys for having me. Thanks a lot. That is Brad Sainer. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be back after this. When you live in a small town, you need someone you can trust to buy a used car from. Steve Holland with Holland Auto Sales is that guy. Selling cars in Harrisonville for 35 years gains you that trust. Used car dealers can come and go, but not Steve. Holland Auto Sales with three generations of Hollands graduating from Harrisonville means he will be here for years to come. So go see the guy who the Grammar family trusts to buy from. Steve Holland with Holland Auto Sales on Commercial Street, just past Burger King. and promotional gear for your business. Don't sacrifice quality for choice. Travis Thurston with T Screen Printing and Embroidery has all you could ask for. Local ability to screen print, embroider, and make vinyl decals, not to mention 50,000 promotional products at your fingertips with tscreenprinting.com. The next time your business or event needs apparel or a giveaway, stay local and turn to T-Screen Printing and Broadway, the pros who 4Ts trust to outfit them on Friday nights. There are a million places to buy a used car, so why not go somewhere you know lives by the Show Me State motto? The staff at Show Me wants to show you that Show Me spirit. Excellent service, affordable prices, and even loaners while you get your car started. They will put you in your dream car, truck, or SUV, and if they don't have it, they'll find it for you. So drive on over to Show Me Auto Mall and drive away with your next car. All right, we are set for second half action. Always great to have our sponsors up here chatting. If I have one of my sponsors at home maybe watching along on the game, feel free anytime, any of the football, any basketball game, come up, see me at halftime, see me before the game. We would love to have you on and talk about your business. We go to second half action, and speaking of business, cats need to get in business offensively here, down 3 nothing as we go to second half action. Last with it so far in the back. Elias is deep in the kit. Or, sorry, the Cats deep in the highest end, I should say. Need to get a goal quick here to start putting a little pressure on Elias. It's going to be cleared out to the midfield. And Harrisonville flip-flop sides this time, and they are going left to right. Right to left will be Elias. Cats driving to the south. To the north goes Elias. On the back corner, far corner. Cleared out, and now in they go for a little cross. Tried to hit it to the middle, and cleared out by the Cats. Minute has gone by here in the second half of this one.
Cats have had to fight from behind before in these elimination games. They were down 3-1 at the half to raise down south and were able to battle back to tie it before winning in double overtime. Green has lightened up quite a bit. Elias has it, tries to cross it in front. No, Cats cleared out. Now Elias attacks again towards the middle. Weaving through traffic, now kick it in the corner, back across, no out of bounds. And it will be the corner kick for Elias. I was waiting for the signal there. So it won't be a goal kick, it'll be a corner kick for Elias. See what they can do with a set piece here. Over kick and try to save it on the f near side here and out of bounds. Elias off Elias. Cat's going to toss it in. Get it in. Evan Feiler bounces it forward and they try to get it in to the Elias half here. Monte Schroeder after his injury in the first half back in there. Get it past the midfield stripe but going to attack back the other way. Again, Cats kick it back forward again here. Try to get it into the Helias half. There's about a... There's a yellow on Micah Dillingham. Now, I'm going to lean on you guys. When you get a yellow card... You leave the game. So you have to, do you have to leave the game and come in the next dead ball? Is that correct? So that is what a yellow card, see, I got to convey this to my people watching at home that don't know soccer. I would imagine a lot of these that are watching that do know are like, this guy is crazy. He doesn't know what a yellow card does. And there's a kick in front and goal score right past Sonus. And it is 4-0 now, Jeff City Helias. Little cross and kick in the front. So if you're scoring at home, it is 4-0. And talking about the yellow card, a yellow card, you have to leave the game. You can come in the next dead ball. And Dillingham had gotten that yellow. And just... About four minutes gone by. We're not quite to the four-minute mark of the second half here. Cats with it in the back. Going to push it forward here. Down 4-0. Got some work to do now. Boot it forward and cleared out by Helias back to the midfield and into the cat half. They go. A good save that time by Sasonis to keep it from getting to a 5 nil contest. Elias back with it. Cleared out and ahead they go into the middle. Another shot on goal. Good save right there by Sasonis. Diving stop to his right. Saves it again. And a boot forward. And into the front they go. And Bletlinger put it into the front looking for someone and nobody was home. Whistle called at midfield on, I believe, Schroeder there. What? On the push off, and it's going to go to Helias, and they're going to put it in the cat half. And Kobe Norris boots it forward and is knocked to the ground.
Why do you stop the clock? 34 minutes, 34 seconds left in the second half. Catch trail 4 0. Kick forward for the Cats after the foul call. And Cats going to have it at about midfield here. Push it forward. Filer in the middle. And. I, yeah, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> the go foul call. 34 minutes to go here in uh, this sectional contest. Cats kick it in the middle. Nothing cleared out by Helias. Goes back the other way. Can thank all of our great sponsors. Helias kicks it into the cat half here. Go on the attack a little bit. Cleared. And forward they go. It's going to go in the back, and the cat's going to try to attack here. Harrisonville Family Medicine Health Turf Farm, Gillen Pharmacy, Cider House, Sherwood Community Bank, Show Me Auto Mall, Cameron Chenoweth, the American Family Agent, Lacey Dominic, Shelter Insurance, Sasonis, and Jerry Ann Sasonis with. Aflac Insurance, Excalibur Contracting, Brad Sainer of Farmers. You heard him at halftime. Troby is Maytag Home Appliance Center, American Heritage Realty, The Dickey Cottage, Best Burrito, and Stafford and Stafford Insurance. Ahead they go. Cats try to attack here, and into the goal it goes. A little lazy they get. Does Helias and the Cats able to get it to within three at four to one. Dalton Schrock in there with the goal. And you got to have those type of goals if you want to get back into it. A little bit of garbage out in front of the net, and the Cats are able to clean the garbage up, put it in the net, and get it a 4-1 to one score now. See if that will light a little fire under the Cats here. High kick forward, and the Cats cut it off and going to try to go back on the attack here, get it towards middle, and forward they go. And now Elias cuts it off and going to try to regain possession here. And the Cats forward again. The midfield stripe is Schroeder right on top of that Wildcat ahead he goes. And Bletlinger's got it at the 30. And he's going to pull it in. And they're going to call a foul on... Elias and the Cats will have a set piece here with a goal kick. See if he can maybe bend it in here. 31 and a half to go and he bends it through just wide to the left side. And that goes back the other way. So 31-20 left here in the second half. The Cats now trail 4-1. Goes into the Cats half, and Cats are going to get possession here and try to push it forward and attack again. Near side with it. The Cats with it. Push it forward and boot it out of bounds. Cats will have a throw in here. The near side and Filer here on the near side with it. Little give and go action, not there. Back to Filer. And Filer kicked around and cleared out by Helias. Missed play right there by Johnson. Going to have to chase it down. 
and chases it deep into his own territory. Out comes Sasonis and boots it forward. And Cat's going to try to get possession back and travel from their own half. Get it forward here. They like the Cats if they could get another goal quick here. Cut that lead from in half. You would feel like maybe Helias will start pressing a little bit. So under 30 to go in the second half. Cats trail 4-1. to one. Cats set to boot it out of there. And they do. Headed by Helias. But Cats going to regain possession. Remember to use your head and get a free insurance quote from Brad Tainer of Farmers Insurance. Elias kicks it down in the far corner. Out of bounds. Going to stay with Elias on a throw in. Toss in there. They didn't go for the long bomb into the middle like they had earlier. And Coach Davini was filling me in that they like that long throw in from the corner to get a lot of goals. So under 30 to go here in the second half. Elias with the ball in the Wildcat half. Elias definitely not in the attack mode they were in for the second part of the first half where they got several goals. Looks like they're going to get a direct kick here. From about 20 out. So Cats build the wall in front here. Elias going to try to probably get something off of a ricochet. There's a kick high over the goal, and it'll go back to the Cats with 27-20 left in the second half. Cats trail 4-1 in this sectional contest. Pound it forward to the Cats. Cross that, they go. In the back, they go. Cats going to try to attack forward. And cut off by Helias. And they try to push it forward. Now Cats regain and push forward here on the near. And cannot stop it from going out. And it will be a throw in for Helias near midfield. Corner here on the near for Elias. Another set piece for them here. Cats trying to clear it out. Far side it goes now for Elias. Still has it in the cat half and a little floater inside and out it goes out the back. Cats. Dodge a bullet there. I'm not sure either team tonight has scored on a 
on a clean set. Seen a couple of ricochets and a couple of breakaways, but both teams' set pieces have not yielded many great looks at goals. We got about 25 minutes to go in the second half. Catch trail four to one in this one. Trying to attack, get it to within two, cut that four nil deficit to four two, cut it in half and see what can happen the last 20-ish minutes or so of this one. That's gonna attack Evan Filer going after it. Into the corner he goes on the far side, kicked and back to the Cats. Cats gonna regain possession deep in the Helias half, into the middle they go and cleared out the goal keep for Helias, gonna pop it back the other way. And back the Cats go with it. Nope, wide on the left side. Benry Hagen, he's had some good saves for Helias to really keep it in. This is going to be a G Gillen Pharmacy corner kick, Rockhaven Road in Harrisonville. And a little bit long on the corner, going to go out of bounds and back to Helias. So a fury by Katz there. Now they're going to get a steal here in front, get it back into the middle, try to attack here with Filer. Filer tries to squirt it through there and not able to get it through to Bletlinger and it goes out the other way. Cat's gonna throw it in on the far and Bletlinger gets it. He's gonna try to get it in the middle. Fires a rifle, back of the net. Goal for the Wildcats and it's four to two. Just under 24 minutes to go in this one. The Cats have got it to within a four to two lead. My entire life, I've always wanted to have a goal call. <laughs> so 23, 29 to be exact left in this sectional contest. And now the Cats have it to within two at four to two. And now they're gonna attack again and it looked like a handball to get it forward to Bletlinger again. Boom, back to back. And they're gonna call an offside. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, I cannot believe they called that. Now under 23. And the Cats are gonna have to attack still. That could have really changed things there. And no whistle there, the Cats attack again. They're gonna go for it and boot it out. Helias trying to stop the Wildcat momentum here with 22, 38 to go in the second half. It's a four to two contest. So the Cats looking to throw it, they're gonna throw it in back. Johnson gonna pop it into the middle, try to attack that middle and clear it out by Helias to the far side. This one's gonna be booted deep out of bounds on the far side. 32, sorry, 22 10 left here in the second half. Cats have cut it to two. You can get that goal now, cut it to one. Anything can happen in the last 20 minutes of this one. Cats again on the attack, a long cross. Not there, picked off by Helias, gonna go back the other way. Cats fighting for it, get it forward. Just miss Norris on the near side. Out of bounds, and the Cats are to throw it in with 21 to go. And Schroeder gonna get it past midfield and up to Norris. Norris gets it into the middle. Back off, try to chase it down as Norris into the corner. He goes and now get it back into the middle. A fired shot into the middle and it is deflected away. Cats try to regain possession here, still have possession on the far side. Nothing called there as both teams got players floating down in the net. No, just high off the 
crossbar of the football. Goal, and it goes out. And it'll be a goal kick for Elias Catholic here. Just missed again. Cats have had some good looks at goal and just haven't been able to capitalize. That one just missed in a high end. I want to say end over end, as you could tell on the soccer ball. And they get it back, Cats. And Bletlinger going to weave through traffic. Just misses and blocked away by Elias out to the middle. Cats going to regain possession on their own half here and try to go back at attack with a little over 20 minutes to go here in the second half, trailing 4-2. to two. In the middle they go, and ahead they try to go, and Connor loses his footing and goes to the goalie. So 4-2 to two our score. Sectionals of the Misha Class 3 Soccer tournament here from Harrisonville. The winner will play the winner of Carney and Van Horn on Saturday. Not sure where that game would be played. And into the Helias has it deep in the Harrisonville half, attacking on Harrisonville here. And a good block right there by Schroeder and ahead goes Filer and a foul going to be called and the Cats going to have it and a try to attack here so they get it to midfield and ahead they go for Johnson, Johnson back into the middle for Schroeder. Cats pulling everybody forward, trying to get it in the middle. They get it in for Bletlinger, cannot hang on to that one as he tries to spin around and can't, and taken away by Helias, and Helias gonna take a run at it now the other way. And the Cats try to clear it, Schroeder tries to clear it out. Into the middle it goes, and the Cats are gonna have to try to Get it out, do not let Helias clean up the garbage in there. And Kobe Norris just goes and takes it away from Helias. Ahead they go, good save right there by Helias to get the breakaway for the Cats. And back the other way it goes. So a lot of action here in the middle of the field. Both teams trying to get in the offensive territory to get a goal. 18 minutes to go here in this one. Deep they go and the Cats kick it out. They're going to call it, get a yellow on Monty Schroeder. I'm not sure that, ha I'm, I'm thinking that was words and nothing more there as he just kind of whistled and turned around and pointed at Monty. So Monty will come off and not be available till that next whistle. Throw in on the near side for Helias. This is where they've been dangerous on these deep, long throw ins into the middle. They like to get that ball to just kind of be bouncing around like a pinball and clean up the garbage in front of the goal. So official gives an explanation on the far side to Coach Coleman. Isaac Johnson set to throw it in for the Crusaders. There's that big throw in, bounces around, kicked out of there, and leveled is the goalie, Sasonis. Good save by him, and he was shoulder blocked into the, shoulder blocked into the post. He's on the left post there, and he got shoulder blocked and able to, 
keep the save, and the Cats going to try to go on the attack. they got to get a goal. You'd like to get a goal here in the next couple of minutes, and so you can go on the attack the last 15 and just let it all loose. 17-10 to go here in the second half. Forward they go to Norris. Norris, little give and go. No, a little bit too soft. Kicked out of bounds by Elias. Cats with it on the far side. Throw it in here. Bounces into the middle. Elias trying to get it. And now the Cats cannot corral it. And Elias going to get it back with 16. 45 left in this one. Now a breakaway for Elias in a good diving save by Sisonis. Able to get his mitt on it and knock it away, but it'll be a corner for Elias on the far side. Did just enough to redirect that one out and save a goal. Four to two our score. Approaching 16 minutes to go in the second half. Here comes a set for Elias in the middle, and they overshoot everybody out of bounds, and the Cats are going to throw it in on the near side. They got to go quickly and try to attack here. We have 16 minutes to go, a little under 16 to go in the second half, and the Cats trail it 4-2, to two, trail it 4-0 at one point and have gotten two of those goals back. If they could get another one here, you got to feel good the last 15 minutes with a crowd behind you to get something, to get that equalizer. Kick it ahead, and Elias going to head it out, and the Cats are going to have it in great position here. And they're going to kick it, or they're going to throw it in, get it in the middle. And Schroeder going to kick it on the far side here. You can just see the speed of the ball. Cats a little missed hit there. And Helias has it in the back half. Going to try to push it forward. Ball in the middle. Cats going to try push it forward. Norris with it. And a boot forward and a little bit too hard on the far side. Be a goal kick for. So, under 15. So here we go forward into it. It'll go. Out on the far. And it'll be Cats coming back. Byler fighting forward on the far. Back. Jenkins tries to get it in the middle, maybe a miss hit there, but the Cats now got an opportunity. They push it forward, and the Cats going to try to have to sprint after it, and they got a chance, open goal, and cannot capitalize, but they're going to get a corner out of it under 13, under 14 to go. A Gillen Pharmacy, I'll get this right before the end of the night, Jerry. A Gillen Pharmacy corner kick on Rock Haven Road in the Cass Regional Medical Center building. Kick it in the middle. There's garbage in the middle. Cats cannot clear it into the net. And then cleared out by Helias towards midfield. See, my baseball brain, when I see that, thinks Gian because of, you know, former Royal Jose Gian. But it's Gillen Pharmacy. Great sponsor to bring this broadcast to you tonight. Several great sponsors stepped up to the plate to get this one on the air tonight. So the Cats going to have to continue to try to attack here. 
Go to the middle. And forward it goes. To the middle they go with it. Schroeder's got it. Back to Filer. Filer. Trying to push forward. Cats try to attack here. Little floater. Cats try to get it in the middle. You want to get it in the middle in the mix of all those legs. Kick it around and try to get a ricochet in. That one rolls right down the line. And it'll be... They're going to have to throw it in from the basically the far corner. And they're going to chuck it forward. And out. Oh, it's a 4-2 to two game second half. Cats have cut the deficit from 4-0 to 4-2. to two. Looking for one more, a chance to get an equalizer. Here's a breakaway by Helias. And right at Sasonis, a good save by him. And the Cats fight for it. And looks like they're going to award a corner here for Helias. And the Helias player in no hurry as clock rolls. Under 11 to go. They boot it in the middle. Another set piece and nothing doing. Out, and the Cats will have a goal kick here. With 10 and a half to go in this sectional contest, Cats would like to get an equalizer quick so they can take that last five minutes and try to get it equalized, I should say. Would like to get one to get it within one. But I'm just hearing myself talk now at this point, I think. Approaching 10 minutes to go. Norris has it, kicks it into the middle for Schroeder. And the Cats going to try to attack in the last 10. They have it in the Helias half. In the middle they go with it. Now Filer has it. Puts it forward for Bletlinger. And it goes deep. Oh, that was Micah over there, Dillingham. Cat down in the middle here, a whistle. It was Kobe Norris that went down. So Cats will have a set piece here with about nine minutes to go. Down four to two. They cut it in, bounced out. And cleared via Cat throwing on the far side. Back in for Wildcats, number 19, Ethan Bolt. So under nine to go. Cats looking to get it within one. Get it off. Byler has it close and cleared away. Now Helias going to go on the attack. Forward they go. Long run. Sasonis picks it up. Fires it out to the near side for Logan Johnson. He's going to push it forward. And ahead they go. And that one is booted out. As we approach eight minutes. Ethan's got that hat on, and I was trying. <laughs> I can see by their hair most of them. I was like, wait, who is that? It's his Carhartt. So. Do you have Carhartt sponsorship? <laughs> I, maybe I should have Carhartt sponsorship. That would be good. We get Family Center on board. That's what we need to do. So we're about 740 to go here in uh, the second half. Catch trail by two, looking to pull it within one. 
just to give themselves a shot in the last couple minutes of this one. Filer has it now across the middle, gets it into the middle and back out. Going to call a foul on, I think they call a push there on Bletlinger it looks like. As the clock winds here. High kick forward they go into the cat half and the cat's able to take over and push forward. You see Helias here, not a soccer guy again, but see Helias dropping a lot of guys into the defensive zone, trying to keep Harrisonville from getting it to a one goal game. That's why Harrisonville able to maintain most of the possession this last 10 minutes or so in the Helias half. So about six and a half to go and the Cats looking to attack. Forward they try to get it and it'll be a throw in. Filer gonna have it, boots it high into the middle. Tries to get maybe a deflection. Back to Monty Schroeder with it. And to the far side they go, bounces out. In the middle they go, Cats try to get on the attack here. High kick, too wide. And now it looks like there's gonna be a whistle here. And they're gonna award a corner to the Cats. Near side, Gillen, Gillen Pharmacy, corner kick. And Norris gonna boot it in the middle for the set piece, Cats. Cannot get it in the net, and Helias able to bounce it back out, but the Cats gonna attack now from about the 40. And into Helias they go, approaching five minutes to go here in this sectional contest. Cats trail four to two. Helias boots it forward. At midfield is Elias. Cats take it away, gonna push it forward a little bit too high on that pass and Elias able to maintain possession and forward they go into the cat half. Booted on the far side, Cats gonna have to throw it in. Ethan Cole throws it in for Johnson. Johnson ahead in the header by Bletlinger. Forward they go, Kobe Norris. And Norris slows it down and boots it forward for the Cats. Micah and Butling are both in there. And a whistle. And the Cats going to have another shot at a set piece as we approach four minutes to go in the contest. Four to two. The Crusaders on top of the Cats. Off to Bletlinger. Oh, just a deflection into the front, into the net. The Cats are within one with a goal by Logan Johnson. And it's four to three with just under four to play here in this one. Cats, all they need is an equalizer in the last four minutes of this one. Four to three, our score. So under four to go here in the contest and the Cats have got it to within one at four to three. Elias just gonna bounce this one deep and Sasona's gonna pick it up and the Cats are gonna go on the attack again. A four to three contest here and the Cats have four minutes to find an equalizer. From four nothing down to four to three. We talked about it at the half. The Cats have come from behind multiple times this year, showing that heart and grit and leaving it all out on the field again here with a little under four to go. We're almost to three minutes to go. Cats looking for an equalizer and a chance in overtime. Boot it forward into the Helias half. Helias not able to save it from out of bounds and the Cats will have a throw in here with 
three minutes to go in this sectional contest. Back goes Elias just to boot it away. Elias just trying to kill as much clock as possible. Harrisonville on the offensive here. Three second half goals for the Wildcats. Trying to make it four. Bletlinger off for Johnson and back to Bletlinger. They're going to attack from the back. Jack DeVinney now pushes it into the Helias half. Into the middle they go. Schroeder with it in the middle. Try to get it to Norris. Back out it goes. And the Cats will go on the attack again. 2.15 to go here in this sectional contest. Cats within one. And now a breakaway for Helias the other way. And the Cats try to clear it out. As Isaac Johnson for Helias chases it in the corner and kicks it out. It'll be a deep throw in. And this is where Helias is able to strike to get it in the middle and try to clean up some garbage. Tried it earlier, 145 to go. They're going to throw it in the middle again. And nothing doing. Cat's going to clear it out and going to go on the attack here. Up to Norris. Norris has got it. He's going to go on his horse past the midfield stripe. And bounce back. It'll stay Cat's ball. 127 to go. Cats looking for an equalizer here to extend their season. With 120 to go, Cats still on the far side looking to throw in. And here they pump it in and kick on the far side. And Helias going to be able to run some clock here with one minute to go in this one. Cats looking for an equalizer here. Still looking Schroeder ahead. Filer into the back. And again, Helias just going to boot it out of there. Chased down by the Cats. And now a breakaway for Helias. Deep in Cat territory. And a good steal there by Davini. Pushes it forward. And they're going to call a foul. <laughs> Unbelievable call right there. Oh, he called him. Call Helias. And they're going to call it on Helias. 35.3. They call a trip on Brent. And the Cats have 35.3. They're going to have to push quickly here. Four to three, our score. Cats need a goal. They need an equalizer here. They need it to save and continue the season. They fought from four, nothing down, back to four to three. Little miss kick by the Cats there and chase down by Helias. And forward they go, out of bounds, and this will be a Helias throw in with 25 seconds to go. And with 20 seconds to go, the three. Not sure what's going on here. Is the looks like a sub coming in for Helias, which is 20 seconds to go in the contest. Cats need a steal and a breakaway. And here we go on the throw in. They're going to just chuck it deep. Cole gets it. And now another header under 15 now. Out of bounds. Another throw in for Helias. And Helias will throw it in. The Cats got it to within one and could not find the final one. But give both teams a lot of credit here in this one, folks. It was a great contest. First half was owned by Helias Catholic. The Cats, you know, you look back, you just wish you had that one back early in the second half, you would have been able to even it up. 
but they fall 4-3 to three to Helias Catholic in this one. We will take a quick timeout. We'll be back to wrap things up from Harrisonville after this. A strong starting lineup is a key to a great team. Insurance is no different, and Stafford and Stafford Insurance has the best lineup in town. With personal, commercial, health, life, farm, and crop insurance, they have you covered. 40-plus employees are there for you to find the best rates, walk you through claims, and make sure they are there for every step of the way. So if you're looking for a full-service insurance company with a strong starting lineup, go see the folks over at Stafford & Stafford Insurance on Commercial Street across from Holland Auto Sales. What is your time worth? Think about it the next time you head to the city to spend hours and days shopping for home appliances and to save a few dollars. Instead, drive across town and see Erlene and her staff that's right here for your convenience. You can be in or out in a short amount of time with amazing service, a great product, and they always treat you like family. Located behind Hawthorne Bank on Plaza Drive, so spend all your extra time you saved cheering on the Wildcats, and remember, think Trobies first when you think of home appliances. All right, welcome back. A heartbreaker tonight. Catch lose four to three. They trailed four nothing at one point in this contest. Able to get it all the way back to four to three. Had about four minutes or so to try to get that equalizer. Couldn't quite get it in there, but give them a lot of credit for the fight they had back in this one. And they'll lose it four to three in sectionals. Their season is done for the year. We we are back here live. And the Dickey Cottage, it's a venue that's charming, warm, friendly, accommodating staff. The Dickey Cottage, perfect place to host upcoming celebrations, whether it's a birthday party, bridal shower, anniversary, graduation, funeral, holiday, family reunion, private dinner, or other special occasion. It is a great place for you and your family. You know you like to have those things at your house. You like to have them all there, and it gets a little bit crowded Perfect space, perfect size is the Dickey Cottage. They are the venue place in Harrisonville. Give Sonia a call today to get that set up. Helts Turf Farm. Whether it's a small job to patch your lawn or a commercial installation, Helts Turf Farm can do it all. From the loves and the quick trip and the Lady Wildcat soccer, or sorry, softball field, Helts will have you seen green with their fescue and bluegrass sod. Sean and Michelle love to support Harrisonville schools, the Wildcats, and field their own national touring micro sprint car team driven by Slater Helt. Give Helt a call, 816-540-2020. Established in 1986, Harrisonville Family Medicine is Harrisonville's premier family doctors, serving a seven-year Seven county area, two states, four doctors, three nurse practitioners on staff. They will sure to have you covered from sports injuries. Common cold, Dr. Aaron and Damon Travis. <laughs> Dr. Damon Travis and Aaron Travis and their staff will have you covered. They also take most health care in the greater Kansas City area. Come in for a checkup. I'm going to have Coach Davini just sit here, give me a massage the whole rest of the night here. Stay tuned to the family at Harrisonville Family Medicine. Looking for an amazing evening with a special someone or a group of your closest friends? Check out the Farm to Table dinners hosted at the Cider House located on South 7 Highway, just six miles east of I-49 at the farm. The Cider House and Event Center with their own special events that is also available for rental. Get your tickets for the last Farm to Table dinner of 2018 this Saturday, November 10th. Enjoy a five-course meal prepared by a professional chef where the menu is sourced from local growers and producers. Local... Aubrey Vineyards with wine pairings and local drink options as well. Check us out on Facebook at the Cider House or the www.ciderhouseevents.com. That is the Cider House. Another one of our great sponsors came on board for us here tonight. Mike and Natalie Johnson take pride in giving back to the community. If you need help on a remodel or a project at your house, they're there to help you, and they love to give back with various projects. 
because they call this community home. From the Savannah Nash Memorial in front of HHS to redoing both HHS baseball and softball fields and reorganizing a trip to Houston to help out hurricane victims, Mike and Natalie make sure Excalibur pays it forward and helps Harrisonville continue to be a great place to live. Again, your final score tonight, 4-3. to three. Cats come all the way back from a 4-0 deficit, get it to within one, had four minutes to attack to get the equalizer, could not do it. Fall to Elias, and their season has finished a final record of 26-2. and two. Eight seniors on this Wildcat squad here this year in their Wildcat careers. They can hold their heads high. They took Harrisonville to their first Final Four in history. They get back to the playoffs with back-to-back -back district and conference titles. Do the Wildcats, Micah Dillingham, Jack Davini, Connor Blettlinger, Dylan Steinbrook, Ethan Cole, Logan Johnson, Hayden Ream, and Ilip Kiel. I'm going to go with that one. Alip Kiel. Q. Alip Q. Okay, that was the last one. Hey, he gets the extra publicity just because the name was so hard to say. But again, your final score tonight, 4-3, to three, Cats fall. We will have another fall sports broadcast on Friday night. The Wildcats travel football team travels to Warrensburg in a district contest, a district championship contest. Cats will play in their fifth consecutive district championship game on Friday night, a, a game that a lot of people did not think they would see this year. The Cats struggled from time to time in the football realm of things, but again, there they are at the end of the year in the playoffs playing for a district championship in one of the last 16 teams in class four standing we will have that game live from ucm's walton field in U warrensburg missouri on friday evening if you cannot make it definitely join us here on 4tees.com or you can find us on facebook at 4tees streaming i want to thank jerry for getting everything on the air tonight. I want to thank all the folks from Helias who couldn't make the trip that listened in. I'm sure I was a little bit pro Harrisonville, but, yeah, you know, what, what can I say? I wear blue and, blue and white most days. So, again, thanks for joining us. And we're going to say good night from Harrisonville. We'll see you Friday night in Warrensburg.